welcome to Accent Trap Studios. I'm Ben, uh, I'm co-owner and engineer. Yeah, this is the kitchen lounge sort of lobby area. With some albums that we've done here. Uh, it's like three Hey Colossus ones. The, the, the new one got uh, quietest album of the year last week, which we're all we're surprised about, we're really happy. Uh, there's some Park Chimp stuff. We did a bit of the new Park Chimp album here, sounding really good. Do you want to see the live room? They yeah, recently built this uh, little booth here, um, which you can cut a, a live vocal in, which is really cool because the singer can see see the whole band. That's a good vibe, but it also works as a good little dead uh, guitar amp booth. But yeah, this is what one of the big assets in the studio is the live room. It's got a nine, nine foot ceiling, We've done quite a lot of treatment in, in here. It's kind of nice and not too lively, not too dead, quite quite balanced. I think a lot of the wood kind of helps. Um, we're doing a session tonight. Um, as you can see, there's plenty of room for a full band to set up. Actually, uh, working with my band tonight and, and, and Jamie's been using these Odessa guitars, which are made by so a, a local guy who lives in Midsummer Norton, I, th I think, but it's really cool. You should check him out. He's on Instagram, but that's a beautiful, beautiful one. There's another one there. Oh, there's also, yeah, Bear Guitars. Check those out as well. It's a guy down in um, near Bridport, actually, and he, he makes really cool looking guitars. I think this was his first ever, ever one. It's like a Telecaster. It's, um, sounds amazing. Something we, we inherited when we took the place over. We got this. Uh, Little grand piano, which sounds nice. It's nice and warm. Yeah, also got uh, one of these here back uh, sort of headphone systems, which is really cool. It's really nice if you're a vocalist because you can just set your headphones however you like them. Or if you're tracking a band live, everyone can. It's really stress-free for me. Um, or you know, drummers can turn the click track up until their brains are melting um, without me having to feel guilty about it. But yeah, really cool. Big fan of that. Yeah, I have quite a lot of different genres in here, mostly kind of stuff with loud guitars. This room's really well soundproof, so you can, as you can see, you can have a full band going for it till late at night and no one's gonna gonna complain. Yeah, stuff stuff sounds really nice. And even you know, you, acoustic music sounds good in here. Drum wise, you can get a nice kind of tight open sound in this room. And then if you want a bigger sound, um, you can stick mics either in that little booth or in here or both. And uh, it can sound huge. You know, it sounds like you're in a big, big room. Yeah, this is our kind of room B. It's a bit of a vocal booth. If you've got a singer and they want eye contact, uh, some do. Um, some don't. We've, we've put this window in recently. And you can't hear anything through that, it's crazy. So yeah, we quite often will use this for a guitar booth. You can have a Marshall stack or something raging. You shut these doors, you can't hear it on the drums. Um, it's, uh, yeah, we kind of designed the place so I like to track a band kind of live, depending on the genre. But we set it so everyone can track, but everything's kind of isolated. Yeah, at the studio we've got a a Hammond, which we got picked up from Wales, and a, it's it's not a Leslie, it's a it's a Sharma, which is like a British Leslie, but uh, yeah, sounds sounds really good. Um, we've actually got two Hammonds, one one of them we're in the process of fixing. Yeah, got a n really nice collection of amps here now. Um, I use this little champ a lot. It's actually really cool. Stick a big muff or something through that. It's pretty awesome. This old Laney is. Haven't had this here very long. Sounds really cool for Sabbathy style stuff. Yeah, AC30, little Fender Bassman. It's all good. You know, very lucky to have a lot of this stuff here. Um, yeah, shall I show you the control room? Follow me. Cool. So this is our control room. Um, when we uh, built this, we got a friend called Steve. Honest from London helped us with the design. It's obviously quite a small room, but uh, yeah, it's really, it quite hard to build. But yeah, it's, it's really flat. So you might be able to hear on the mics. Um, it's really nice to mix 
mixes that we've done in here so far sound really good, it's a really nice room to work in. You can work in it for 10 hours and not um, get exhausted. Yeah, we've got this Trident, it's probably like about 15 years old. So it's not, not a vintage Trident, but it, it really does sound good. Got a whole bunch of other fancy outboard. There's some Neve clones and you can get, um, you know, we kind of got all the bases covered. Sound, all sounds sounds really nice. Starting to mix analog a bit more with the desk now as well. And again, if you, you've got a drummer in the live room, absolutely going for it. You shut all the doors, you know, the isolation's really good. Uh, we've got this filler corder thing, which ends up getting used loads. Um, it's cool. Uh, at some point they'd be worth loads of money, but at the moment they're not. But, but I love it. I, I prefer this to a Hammond, really. I think it was a home kind of studio. Home studio? It was a home organ, but I think maybe bought in a catalogue in the 70s. But, uh, yeah, loads of it. It's really fun.